What's up boys and girls and welcome back to my channel. My name is Evil and today we're going to be talking about, you know, this guy, this, this guy here. It's been a couple of months now since my last video. You know, I've been busy with testing one of the new devices called Holidays. Never mind, back to the topic. I've been receiving so many messages from you guys asking questions about the build, so I decided why not make a video. So in this video I'm going to be talking about the reservoirs, the pump washers, the liquid cooling loop, the pass-through panel and the cable management. Let's roll! Okay, let's start with the reservoirs. So reservoirs, as you can see, quite large. These are from EK Wasser Blocks. Um, I believe it's 400s. Yes, 400s. So most of you guys were asking me questions about how the hell did I get the reservoirs upside down? So there's the answer. You've probably seen that in one of the videos. I 3D printed these brackets. Unfortunately, this is not most of the stable version, I believe, but it gets the job done. You can see one of them actually got a zip tie on. That's purely for the fact that the reservoir actually is sitting there quite loose. Well, firm enough to not slide out, but any movement or you know, if you if you shake the case a bit, it's probably going to slide out. Let's try. See, it holds it in place, but I could potentially just slide it out with no problems. Although, you know, these these reservoirs upside down look quite nice. There is a, a bit of a problem with them. You need to fill it up, literally full because otherwise it's going to be pushing air down all the time so uh, it's a bit of pain in the ass okay the next thing uh, pump washers pump washers there they are four millimeters if I'm correct um, this is the other one maybe not that easy to see but it's, it's there the reason to have the pump washers is if you look at the vertical alignment of the of the pipes if I wouldn't have them washers then these pipes would be sitting at the angle like that and it makes it look absolutely weird although it's the angle is not that big but still it looks looks weird Right, the next thing, um, the actual loop. Well, there's not a lot really to say about that. So, it's, as you can see, we do have two pumps. So, the right pump is cooling down the CPU and VRM. And the left pump is cooling down both 1080 Ti's. Um, in the back, we do have a lot of dust and 560 mil rads, two of them. And let me just turn that machine around and I'll show you the back. Okay, as I was saying, 560 mil rads. And going back to the water cool loop, as you can see that pass through wall, and then the valves, so you can bleed out the system every single loop separately. 
and well cable management cable management is a bit weird at the moment there are a lot of cables like these ones that came already done so standard pre-built um, some of these I made myself Ooh, a bit of dust oh no so some work needs to be done on cable management but that's fine and uh, what else the pass-through wall as you can see it is just a sheet of acrylic um, black acrylic the reason why I changed it is because the original one looks like this I'm just gonna try to align it so if you if you look at it if this pass-through wall would be in place the right pipe that comes from the CPU would not fit there I would have to move it so it would have a very weird angle that's why this went to the bin ish this is well it's okay if you want a standard build but whatever so yeah I think that looks much better a few things I still need to do which I'm probably going to show you guys in the next few videos um, the actual logo the plan is and I already do some do have some sketches so this is going to come out and we're going to 3d print a custom logo uh, with LEDs and all that crap and uh, cable management cable management in front I don't really like it because the cables are sitting too wide so I want to change these 3d printed comms to something a bit more hmm, well different and then the cover for the SLI bridge that's pretty much it I guess for now and one more last thing so if you wonder how the hell did I fill up the reservoirs? Well, pretty simple. This is how. Yeah. Just cut out holes and fill them up. So that's it, guys. That's it for today. Um, if you do have any questions, drop me a message on Facebook um, and also all that, you know, default um, nonsense about liking, subscribing, and blah 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 well you know so yeah i'll see you in the next one peace